One of the most random and unexplained events in Resident Evil 4 revolves around an island Ganado, who has somehow either trapped himself or had been trapped to be torched indefinitely. It's a simple jump scare, sure, one that's very reminiscent to others in past RE games. More than that though, the man in the oven is still somewhat of an unsolved mystery, and it really brings something, or rather, a group of people to the forefront that are hardly ever talked about when it comes to Resident Evil lore, the island Ganados. Who is really controlling them, and can we pinpoint what this poor oven-toasted fellow did to deserve literal hell on earth? Think about the location in which we encounter Oven Man. This burnt-ass toast is located literally right next to, you guessed it, the merchant. No, I'm kidding, the regenerators. Not just any kind of regenerators, that is. Regenerators on the loose. These nearly indestructible creatures can pretty much brutally murder everyone watching this video. Who's to say that the oven man wasn't running from these things and in an attempt to hide, he chose the worst possible place. This idiot probably thought it was a metal closet or something. Believe it or not, I'll take this option a step further with the fact that there are cow carcasses found in the regenerator's frozen storage room. And where are the other cow carcasses located? In the kitchen, where the oven man was pretty much last seen. Could this guy have been the unfortunate regenerator babysitter in bringing them meat to keep them full? Well, that's one option. The second option depends on who is controlling the island militia. The goofy and spooky private militia is definitely operated by Sadler, used to carry out his sick plans. The remake definitely changes up the island Ganado's lore in this sense. It's not obviously stated that there is a different commanding hand that controls these creeps this time around. It's not Sadler, but Krauser that is in closer contact with the Ganado army. Hell, they pretty much share bunk beds together and throw cute cultist slumber parties every now and then. They even pass around photos of Leon. Krauser himself talks about the hierarchy of soldiers and how he's built a playground just for Leon. Yeah, this is a different type of scary. But scarier yet is Krauser being your maniacal, patriotic, and perfectionist boss. His abduction plans shows us that in spades. He details how Ashley's kidnapping goes and how he wants it done. One little mistake and he'll rip you open swiftly. With that fact out of the way, we know that the island Ganados are held to a different standard than the village Ganados led by Bitoris Mendes, or the castle Zealots led by Ramon Salazar. I actually think that the Zealots have it the worst without a doubt. You can see what Salazar puts them through when they make mistakes pretty clearly in the spike pit. Now of course, Mendes isn't really that different, who is also shown to rule the village with an iron fist being partially responsible for the deaths of the entire village children community. And then we have, yes, not Sadler, but Krauser, who commands the island Ganados. These so-called leaders share one thing in common, they're all extremely violent. But that's when the similarities kind of end. I think Krauser is the kind of person to go to the extreme ends of the earth just to get his point across. And that's when our friend in the oven comes into play. I would not be surprised if it was in fact Krauser himself that put the oven man in, well, the oven. Krauser must have even rounded up his troops to see this all unfold, to showcase what happens to traitors or when accidents happen. And that begs the question, what the hell could this guy have done to deserve this? One file in the game easily tells us the ongoing operations and duties of the army Ganados. They were not simple little tasks. Hell, they weren't just guarding a bioweapon producing island. The island Ganados were in charge of totally not life-threatening things like transporting freaking regenerators around the island. This file even states that there was a slight hiccup that led to some casualties. The researchers working at the island also showed some concerns that there were in fact too many of them and not enough engineers around the place. I think that's why the army Ganados were tasked with the most dangerous jobs in and around the island. They just weren't all that valuable in the eyes of Sadler and Krauser. They are pretty damn expendable. The third option that helps explain how Oven Man became Oven Man is simply that. These guys are not at all serious characters and it shows in their dialogue. To the way they laugh off Leon's arrival and during otherwise serious situations, 
This behavior can be seen as dumb behavior, but also overconfident behavior. It wouldn't be completely out of the ordinary if Oven Man just flat out trapped himself in the giant incineration box while heating up some pizza rolls. I wouldn't pass that by him, but all three of these scenarios are pretty much possible. We'll probably never know the truth, since this is a tiny event in an otherwise rich and story-driven game. Remember, keep your eyes open. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. What do you think happened to the oven man? How did he end up there? Let me know in the comments your theories. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more horror lore, lists, and mysteries. Have an awesome rest of your day. And as always, stay single.